Good morning, fellow preppers. You know, you find yourself without water sometimes indoors, and you're looking for a way to keep clean. I mean, it's not simply just about smelling good, even though it's a big part of it too, but about actually keeping clean so you can stay healthy. And so I actually have some tricks for you, and you'll probably like them, but stay to the end, because I actually have a military trick that works very well in making sure you stay nice and smelling good and clean in case you lose your indoor plumbing. All right, here we go. Here's the five ways to do that. Number one, rain is your friend. And if you happen to be like in a tropical environment where it rains often, sure, you can get a shower in the rain, just use a shampoo there. But do you know what's going to happen? As soon as you get your face lathered up, the whole rain's going to stop. So having a rainwater catchment system works even better. Gutters, etc. In fact, one way you can do it, you can actually dig a pit and put tar a tarp into it so it actually slopes down to the pit. It'll actually catch a lot more rainwater than you think it will. You can start filling up basically an outdoor bathtub. Now, if you can actually hold that rainwater in a dark container, the sun will actually make it warmer for you. So it's kind of like a solar heater area for you. So there are ways to actually make warm rainwater, but obviously rainwater is a good way to make this happen. Number two, reuse your water. So if you have a bathtub full of water and you want everybody to go through your whole house and take a bath in there, well, you can decide who goes first. I mean, you kind of want yourself to go first, but you know, just think of the adult nastiness going in that water for your kids kids should go first. And if you're worried about the kids peeing in the water, it's actually not a big deal as you think it is for the fact that actual pee has chemicals and stuff that actually helps keep you clean. You know, in some third world countries, especially in desert regions, sometimes they'll actually bathe in pee because they know it'll, they know it'll actually clean them up. And there you go. So you're using bath water is a good option. Number three, go jump in a lake. Obviously this is a no brainer having a creek or stream or lake or pond or something nearby, hopefully not one of those nasty algae ponds, is actually a good way to take a dip and clean yourself off. Take your shampoo with you and off you go. Now, depending on the water source, like my wife and I, um, Ashley and I lived on a sailboat. And we would go swimming in the ocean and go diving and snorkeling and everything, practically speaking, every single day. And it really kept us clean. If you're in an environment like that where the water itself is clean, I've seen some of that pond water. We're not necessarily talking about that, but like ocean water, you know, we're talking about the Caribbean, beautiful water. Uh, you can actually use that as your giant bathtub doing it every single day will work just fine. I mean, we still actually would take a shower once in a while just to, you know, soap off some of the grease and everything off our bodies. But be able to bathe like that every single day works very well. And of course, it's not indoors unless you have your own indoor pond, which I guess that'd be cool too. Number four, take a dirt bath. Have you ever seen little birds do that? They go in a bath. Oh, it's really cute. And they push all over the sand all over themselves. You can do the same thing. In fact, the sand not only actually takes off a lot of the sweat, a lot of the grease off you, absorbs it and basically scrapes it off, but it scours your skin too. It actually cleans you a lot better than you think. Something else that actually helps, by the way, is using something like rubbing alcohol on your armpits or possibly in your groin maybe kind of painful down there, but your armpits, of course, the smell that comes out of there, if you didn't know it, doesn't come practically speaking from the sweat, but it comes from bacteria inside the pores in your armpit. So actually using rubbing alcohol on your armpits once in a while will actually keep the bacteria at bay and it'll make it so you don't smell as much. Okay. So anyways, take a nice sand bath and you'll be happy. Number five, the military method. Preppers stock up on baby wipes. That usually is what happens. And using the baby wipes to wipe yourself down or a washcloth of some sort does work well. I'm not discounting that. However, they often don't go far enough. In the military, some of the guys I would know would actually use talc, like talcum powder. After they wipe themselves down with a wipe or a washcloth, they talc themselves from head to toe. And the talc does well. It actually helps absorb some of the nastiness, keeps you smelling fresher. Great. But the real military members know they would actually use gold bond medicated powder. This stuff is amazing. So what's different between the gold bond and regular talc? Menthol. The menthol and the gold bond will actually give you not only a better scent, but this really amazing clean feeling all the way down your body. So basically wipe yourself down, let yourself dry off a little bit, and then just before you get dressed, douse your body in the gold bond, and you will, I'm not kidding you, you will feel like you just took a shower. You feel like a million bucks. And I'll be honest with you, in crap hits the fan situations, that's worth its weight in gold. Well, gold bond, there you go. All right, so anyways, I'm sure you actually have some ideas too, things you do to, to keep clean when you don't have any indoor plumbing. In fact, I know there's some people out there who don't have indoor plumbing. What are your ideas? How do you do it to stay nice and clean? There's my top five. These ones actually work very well for me, especially with the gold bond. Gold bond. Thanks so much for watching.